So it's been a busy couple days at work, so I've actually missed two days of blogging. But not only did I miss two days of blogging, but because I've been so busy, I haven't really had a chance to watch much sports in the last couple of days. I was able to see kind of the final minutes of the Celtics heat game and watch the overtime. So, I mean, that's really the best part. And then last night I was able to catch the first half of the Thunder Spurs matchup, which of course was their, the Spurs' first um, defeat in 20 games. So, holla OKC. I shouldn't say that again. So one of the things that being a sports fan that I've kind of noticed over the years is it's kind of easy to be a good winner right? It's really easy when you're on top to be classy. Things really start to get hard and you start not to, your team starts to play not as well as they usually do or not as well as you'd like them to. That's when like the butthole in everybody comes out. So that, that little, okay, maybe for some people it's a big part, but that part of you that is just like, I don't care. So Greg Popovich, coach of the San Antonio Spurs, named Coach of the Year for the 2012 season, is um, a lovely man until they start to lose. Now, I will give you that the sideline reporter or the, the courtside reporter, that like forced interview before the team goes in for the half, is awkward. We as fans know that the coaches don't want to do it or the players don't want to do it. We get it. And I will admit that Craig Sager's suits are ridiculous. So would I, if I were ever a professional athlete, want to be interviewed by somebody who dresses so ridiculously? I honestly don't think I could take him seriously. Pops turned into like the Bill Belichick of basketball yesterday in that awkward halftime interview. You know, so there's Craig Sager. So coach, your team is struggling. What do you think? We just got to keep playing. Tim Duncan really seems to be sluggish. Tony Parker's not hitting those jumpers. What do you think? We just need to keep playing. What's your strategy going to be for the second half? We just need to keep playing. We got it. When you're winning, it's easy to say, oh, my guys played great. They're really rebounding well. But when you're losing, all you really want to do is stab Craig Sager's eyes out. But here's how I see it. The coach of a professional sports team in today's industry is popular largely because of the media coverage and the accessibility that we as fans have to them. We expect more. We pay more. Being a coach of a professional sports team isn't just about being a coach anymore. I mean, heck yeah, I want Phil Jackson or Doc Rivers or Jerry Sloan or Pops to be a good coach, but I also want a little bit of insight. I don't care if you're mad that your team's sucking it up? Could you think of four different words to use in the second question that you're asked? I mean, you can't be mad at Craig Sager, but he's just doing his job. Somebody's in his ear going, you better make sure you get that interview because we're supposed to do the interview from 10.13 to 10.15 before they go to the half. Can you imagine Craig Sager's like, oh God, Pops hates me. He's not gonna answer any questions. Do you think Craig Sager wants to ask questions of someone that he knows doesn't want to answer any questions right now? Do you think the female sports reporters on the sideline when they're like trying to run up against Bill Belichick and say, excuse me, Bill Belichick, what do you think of how we're playing so far? Nah, they're just doing their job. Their job is to bring sports to us. Your job is to coach a team and answer three questions before you go to half the half. How do you guys think that you did out there? You know, we're not really hitting the points we want to. We're not making the shots. We're not sticking to our strategy. We just need to keep playing. It's the difference between an eight second answer and a 15 second answer. We all have a role to play people. Your job is to win games. The reporter's job is to ask questions. My job is to watch it all unfold. So predictions for tonight. We got the Heat in Boston playing in Boston. The only loss by four points in overtime. It seems a little like the Oklahoma City Spurs game, like the refs aren't calling anything, and it's the exact opposite in the Celtics-Miami game. Those refs are loving their whistles. So they only lost by four in overtime. I'm picking the Celtics tonight.